Hi everyone, welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and I'm so excited today because we're doing our first plant tour video ever in this channel. This video was requested many times so I'm so excited to just welcome you to our home and show you our plants. Okay, come on in. Okay, my friends, we're gonna start with this monstera right here. Her name is Lupita and is the first plant that our guests see when they come to our home. She's very close to my heart because she was actually a gift for my 30th birthday from Jan. And she was 30 years old when she got here. So we basically have been the same amount of years on this planet, which is super cool. She's actually growing really, really quickly. We have some leaves actually coming out. So all of these ones are in leaves that have been growing this year. And we're actually having one leaf that is coming out right now. It's actually right here. I love seeing the way that she grows. She grows really fast. And yeah, so now we have one more new leaf. So welcome to our living room, <laughs> which is right here. We actually spend lots of time here when we're relaxing. So I usually read my books here and we usually sit down here with Jan and we don't have a screen. So we put our laptop here and that's how we watch movies. So now you know a little bit more about ourselves. Uh, but I'm gonna show you this wall right here. This is actually my favorite wall in the house. And this is because we can put so many plants as you can see. Uh, we have a lot of space to just play around with the plants and oh, before I forget, actually, this room actually has a south facing window. So we have most of our plants here and you're going to see that as we get closer to the window, we're going to get closer to more succulents and more plants that really enjoy the sunlight. But these plants enjoy bright, indirect sunlight. That's why they really like this room because they have their bright sunlight, but they're away from the window, so it's not so strong. So let me show you what plants we have. So I'm gonna go on top of the couch here because <laughs> it's a little bit high for me. Uh, this one is the first one that I wanted to show you. It's super cute and super easy to take care for. This is a blue star fern. And actually, this plant doesn't need so much water. And also, the cool thing about it is that it also gets some of the nutrients and some of the things that they need. They get it from the air. So it's really easy to take care for. We just have to not overwater it. <laughs> but yeah, then I'm going to show you this one right here. This one is the asparagus fern. And you guys, this one has such a sense of calmness and I really love it. It's a plant that you would find maybe in a spa or something. And also it grows really, really fast and it's very easy to care for as well. And oh, one interesting thing about this plant is that it actually comes from a bigger asparagus fern. So we actually divided it in one video. You may remember the video. And this is the second part for one. So we divided it into two. And it actually is growing really, really well. It has many new leaves here. For example, this one right here is a new leaf. You can tell by actually the color of the leaf. So it's maturing still. Whereas for example, this one is a little bit darker. Okay, so yeah, that's the asparagus fern right here. Here we have the maidenhair vine. So it's a beautiful plant, you guys, but I'm still trying to figure out the watering because I think that it needs more watering that I'm giving her, but I don't want to overwater it. For example, here you can see there are some leaves that are dry, for example, right here. And yeah, I mean, it's good because now it looks better. It's growing some leaves on the top. It was a little bit dry here. As you can see, we have some branches here that are dry but it's doing better. So, you know, these things go step by step and yeah, I'm learning about it. I'll give you an update uh, as it continues to develop <laughs> the situation. And if you have a maiden in her vine, maybe you can tell me in the comments, how much water do you give them? Uh, and then we can learn. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the maiden in her vine here. Here we have another vine, which is so beautiful and I really love it because it's so easy to take care for and also it's a beautiful plant. This is the English ivy. 
So as you can see, we have her in a macrame right here. And I love the way it's growing. It looks almost like it is dancing, you know? And um, I think it's happy here because the levels of sunlight are, she gets bright sunlight. This, the English ivy, as you may know, likes lower amounts of sunlight. But this one is a variegated type. So I know that if we want to keep the variegation, we need to provide some amount of sunlight. So this room is bright sunlight, but it's very indirect as this is really farther away from the window. So yeah, this is a beautiful plant. Okay, so on this side of the wall, we have many different plants, as you can see. We have the Boston fern right here. This one you can have in a more shady room, but it seems to be happy in this room. So I just have it really far away from the window. Then here we have the Enjoy plant, which I love so much because it almost looks like watercolors, the leaves, no? I really like it. And we have the coffee plant right here. And of course, our Christmas cactus. And if you go over here, we have the zebra plant. Again, this plant doesn't need so much direct sunlight. So actually they prefer a little bit more indirect sunlight. So that's why I have it farther away from the window. And we have the aloe vera here growing towards the sunlight, as you can see. But she seems to be happy there. One plant that I really wanted to show you is this one. I still don't know the name. But this plant has surprised us this year because I'm gonna show you here. As you can see, it dried out actually. We didn't have any leaves, so we had to cut the, the stems here. But then I was like, okay, let's just not throw it away. Let's just maybe water her and see how she does. And now she has new leaves. But I would love to know the name. So if you guys know the name for this one, I'm also gonna put it on the Instagram account so you guys can also comment on that. But if you guys know the name, please let me know so we can know more specifically what she likes and what she doesn't like. So now I'm gonna show you some of the plants that we have on this table right here. Of course we have the ZZ plant. If you're a plant beginner, I really recommend getting this plant for the first plant that you get because it's a super strong plant and it's very adaptable. It can actually be in a darker room or it can be in a bright room like this one. So yeah, I really love her and super recommendable. Then over here, we have the red love plant. And it's a very special plant because on the top, you have a green color, very, very deep green color actually. And then in the back, it is red. So it's really, really beautiful. And it grows really fast actually. So I've been actually cutting some of the branches off just to propagate them. And the roots also grow really fast. So you can have many of these plants around the house as long as you have bright sunlight because they really like sunlight. And later I'm gonna show you in the propagation station how our propagations are doing. Then over here are actually the moon cactus. So <laughs> as you can see, they have different colors. This one's pink, this one is green with white. And I think they do well here because they like bright indirect sunlight. One thing to remember is that the top of the cactus here, they like more shade than light. And then this part of the cactus likes lots of sunlight. So one compromise is to provide bright indirect sunlight because if not, then you'll see that this one is gonna start losing its color with a lot of sunlight. So yeah. So now let's look at the other side of the room and we're gonna go to this bookshelf right here. And this, actually this Monstera right here first. This is the part of the Vita that we had to cut because of the aphids. So as you can see, it has some yellow leaves here or your just the yellow edges or brown edges here we think that it was because of the aphids so we're trying to like make her happier and treat her a little bit so hopefully it will be better but yeah this is another part of lupita the other part so because it was really big still big but yeah it was a little bit of a it was a sad moment when we had to cut it but we're trying to make her be happy and hopefully it will be healthier 
Then over here we have, of course, our air plant, which is also growing really, really like long. And uh, here we have our potos. This is the silver potos, and it's really soft when you touch it. So it's a very, it's a very soft plant and very beautiful. This one tends to prefer less light than bright light. That's why I have it a little bit farther away and also protected by the bookshelf. That way it doesn't get so much sunlight. And we're also propagating some of these, so I'll show you when we get to the propagation station. And then over here we have more succulents on this side, so they're gonna get more sunlight. So we have this succulents right here, some cacti. Then we have the lithops right here, the living stone. And over here we have the bird's nest fern. This plant also grows really quickly. And I love it because actually it has many curves on the leaves. And it's so fun to actually look at the new leaves. As you can see, this one has a new leaf right here. So they actually grow from the center and then they unroll up to become these leaves. I think maybe because as you can see here, we have some of brownness in the leaves. So it's either that we're overwatering it or maybe we're overfeeding it. So I'm gonna try to see what is gonna make her happier. And also here I can show you, here is one of the new leaves unrolling. So it looks like that. Here we have our orchid. It was actually a gift from the neighbors and it doesn't have flowers anymore, but it seems to be doing well with the leaves. So we actually have some new leaf here coming out. So yeah, and over here, of course, we have our Dracaena plant. Some of you guys have actually told me that you guys have some brown edges on the leaves of the plant. This plant is super sensitive to chemicals in tap water. So I would recommend that you use either distilled water or rainwater or filtered water. Uh, we've been using that and she seems to be doing fine. And she's growing actually. We have some new leaves in the center right here. So yeah. Okay, so from here we're actually walking towards where Jan works. This is his desk. Of course, yeah, with Corona now he's working from home. So we actually put some plants here so he has some green in his space as well. This one is the other part of the asparagus friend that I told you that we divided. And this one is growing a little bit more chaotically, but, uh, but it is growing as, as well, so it seems to be happy. And as we get closer to the window, you're starting to see plants that need more sunlight. So for example, here we have the croton. And as you can see, the croton has many colors on the leaves. We have, for example, yellow, we have red and orange. Once the croton starts getting more green leaves, this means that it's not getting so much sunlight. So I actually have this croton by the wall over there. And that's when it started growing these leaves. So that's why I moved him a little bit closer to the window. So now I can get more sunlight and hopefully we'll get the, the color back. As you can see, we have some red already on the center. So yeah, we'll see how it grows. Over here we have the Tradescantia. This is actually a cutting from a plant that was actually dying on us. So I cut it and put it on, in water. And it actually grew many roots. So now I transfer it to soil and it's growing more leaves here. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm so happy because look, here if you go really close here, you can see that this is another branch and a new small leaf is coming from the center. I don't know if you can see, but it's over there. So we'll see. <laughs> we have our uh, air plant here as well. And some of the succulents. This was growing like crazy. And one, actually one of you guys told me the name of this plant. I didn't know before. So thank you so much. <laughs> now I'm gonna add it in the video because I don't remember, but I, I remember that it starts with S, but I'll add it in the video so you guys know. <laughs> and yeah, if you have one, please let me know. This one is actually super cool. It looks almost like an octopus, I think. And this is a new branch right here. Here. <laughs> and of course, sunshine right here. This plant is super close to our hearts because it was a gift from a very close friend of ours and the name actually comes from her as well, just to honor her. 
and oh my god guys it's growing really fast as you can see it's super big right here and I hope that it continues growing so we will see I also got a cutting from that and we have a video about it on how to propagate it and I'll show you how the cutting is doing in a minute but now we're gonna go closer to the window and see some of the plants that really like sunlight so this one is a Schefflera plant and it was actually a gift from our previous landlord uh, she was living here before us and she just stayed, stayed with us and now we have so many new leaves for example this one right here is actually a new one it actually grows as an umbrella the leaves come like that so yeah it's growing I think it's growing very healthy now so and it's super tall as you can see so it just gives another personality to the room yeah I really like this plant then over here we actually have a senecio plant and this one I actually had on the other side of the room but then I noticed that it was growing like this so it's towards the sunlight because they really like sunlight so I decided to put it a little bit closer to the window and I think now she's gonna be happier and talking about plants that love direct sunlight let's go see our succulents in the dining room Okay you guys, so we're very close to a south facing window here, so I hope the lighting is okay. But as you can see, we have many of our succulents here. This is because this really like direct sunlight, so this is a perfect window for them. And I wanted to show you some of the succulents that we have. Some of them I don't know the names, but if you know, in the, if you know any of the names of these succulents, just let me know in the comments and we can add them to our collection. And now the sunlight is coming in. <laughs> so let's see here this one i wanted to show you oh let me just put this here i wanted to show you because this was a cutting actually that we got from greece and it's so beautiful actually the way that it grows it actually had two branches the other one was growing from over here but i saw that some fungus was actually in the plant so i had to cut it but actually i just saw it because we're doing this video that new branches are coming in here which is so cool of course we have our bunny ears cactus here this is a yellow bunny ears cactus the first one that we had is a red one and i'm going to show you guys later that one is in the kitchen but this one here is a yellow one and it's growing really fast actually this is a new one for example this is a new ear and then on the other side of the cactus, we have some ears here growing. And this is actually part of this one. So we had to cut it because it was kind of falling apart, like it was falling down. So, but now it has a new ear here. And I think maybe it's gonna grow over here, another one. But yeah, super cool. Then over here we have our string of pearls and these were actually also cuttings so now I transfer them to the soil and we have some other cuttings actually that are growing in water I will show you later and then we have some cactus here so one two three they're also very happy with the sunlight and over here we have the Tradescantia silamontana which is growing so amazingly guys all of these are new leaves this this one stem is actually a new one since i got it and it was a small cutting actually you may remember actually from the video that i made of this plant she was so small and i think now it's growing like crazy but uh, yeah so i think she's happy with the sunlight here and i would recommend if you have one of these plants the, tra the Tradescantias really like sunlight so don't put them in a shady room because they won't be happy there. But yeah, it seems to be really happy right beside the window, the south facing window. Then here we have another gift. This is the Echeverria. And I love this one because of the color. It's almost pink or purple. 
It's a beautiful plant and they also love sunlight. Also, another cool thing about it, I'm gonna take it out so that you can see. The roots here, you can see right at the bottom, they are pink. <laughs> I actually discovered that yesterday when I was watering them, so it was really nice. Okay, so this one right here is another one that we have. This one also comes from Greece and it's growing really fast, but I just discovered that we have some aphid problem for this one. I think it's aphids, they're super small. I don't think you can see them anymore, but for example here, you have very wrinkly leaf here and also some brown here. So this means that maybe it was attacked by aphids, so I'm gonna have to see how to treat it. Um, but the good thing is that it's growing really nicely. Like for example, the new leaves are really nice. And yeah, I'll let you know because this is a succulent. So if it is being attacked by aphids, then I have to see how to treat it because it's a succulent. So I have to learn maybe, it may be different than if you treat a tropical plant. So if you want a video about this, let me know. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. And over here we have another Senecio. I don't know if you remember, but a long time ago, we also propagated this Senecio from the first one that I showed you over there. So now it's also growing, and it's so cool actually to do these videos because now I get to show you how it is progressing. So, yeah. <laughs> so now that we're done with this part of the house we're actually gonna go to the kitchen and uh, I want to show you some of the plants that we have here actually the first thing that I want to show you is this propagation area this is actually one of my the second favorite walls of the house the first one is in the living room and now this one because we get to see how our plants are growing and it's so amazing you guys so I'm gonna show you the ones that we're propagating right now this is the golden potos. So as you can see, we have many roots growing in the bottom. And we have leaves growing too. So we have, this one is a new leaf, for example, right here. And also these smaller ones here. So actually, I think that this place is very good for propagating our plants because they don't get so much direct sunlight, but we have a window over here. And then we have another window over here. So then, for example, they get some sunlight that actually hits them and then they can grow their roots. And over here we have the other part of our strings of pearls, which is also growing some pearls here, which is really amazing. And uh, I'm going to show you the roots because they're also growing. So we have some roots here. These ones are um, like, yeah, they're actually white and very thin. They're actually really nice roots. And I put them on top of this, he this thing here. These are called the root shoots. And basically we put some holes here so we can put the plant, but we protect the pearls because we don't want the pearls to touch the water. So yeah, it's growing really well. Then here we have another succulent and it is also in water. This one was actually given to us. Uh, it's a gift from Jan's mom actually. And uh, it's growing the roots. So hopefully we can put it in soil soon. Yeah, I think I, I should be able to, to put it already in soil. Actually, maybe I should already put it in soil. So we'll do that. Our silver bottles here, growing some white roots here. And then I really wanted to show you the next one because we saw it in the living room. So this is the one that I was telling you, the red lock. It grows really, really quickly. And as you can see, <laughs> it has so many roots. I think I started rooting here, this one in water, maybe about three weeks ago. So as you can see, there already has many roots and we can already put it in soil. But I'm going to wait a little bit because I think I'm going to do it all together. Maybe I can show you guys how I do it because sometimes it's a bit nerve wracking to do this because once you move the plant from water to soil, it can actually shock the plant and sometimes it may even die. So yeah, but let's just do it slowly and hopefully it will be fine. And talking about that, look at this one. This is a Maranta. We have a new leaf here 
And it's so cool to see that they're actually growing new leaves while we are propagating them. Yeah, so the roots are right there. I think this one has been maybe rooting in water for a month. So yeah, it's doing well, I think. Over here we have another gift. This is, I don't know actually the name for this one. I've been trying to find it, but there are many different names in the internet and then they're actually conflicting sometimes. So if you know the name for this plant, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is another plant that was gifted to us and there is the roots there. So, and actually it's growing some new <laughs> branches here. So we will see how it goes. And of course we have our silver photos here and this branch would knock it over by accident from our set set plant. So the set set plant is better to propagate it by division, but we're gonna try to see and hopefully it roots in water. Okay, so now let's go to the kitchen, which is right here. <laughs> okay, so here is another south facing window that we have. So again, we have plants that like bright sunlight and most of them are succulents, but for example, we have this Dracaena here. She seems to be happy. I thought that she would be happier in like less sunlight, but actually she seems to like being really close to the window. So I just left it here. Then over here we have a propagation of the aloe vera that I showed you before. So it is actually growing. This is a little bit bigger. We actually try to propagate also with this one. If you remember, we try to propagate another big leaf of the yellow, but that one actually rotted. So I had to get rid of that, but this one is actually rooting. So yeah, now I know that maybe with the offset, it's a little bit easier to propagate than if you actually cut the leaf. It is still possible, but you just have to be careful because the leaf may rot before it actually produces the roots. So that was a learning experience for me. Then over here, we have the uh, African milk tree. This is a propagation that we did a couple of weeks ago with our other African milk tree, the big one that I showed you before. And yeah, I think it is still rooting, but we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know as soon as it roots, actually, I'll let you know maybe on Instagram or with some posts here on YouTube. And yeah. Over here we have another succulent. This one is so cool because we actually had to cut it because it was not doing well. So we cut it over here and here and here. The three stems, we didn't have any leaves. And then we just decided to keep watering it and see what happened. And then we went on vacation and when we came back, it had so many leaves. So <laughs> it's been so nice to see her grow. Oh yes, and if you know the name for this one, also let us know because we've been looking for it, but we cannot find it. So yeah, if you have one at home, let us know and maybe we can make a video about her. And this one who is very popular in this channel, this one was one of the first plants that we got when we started collecting plants. And we got it because they told us that cactus are very easy. This is a bunny ears cactus. So we thought, okay, so that's fine. We'll just water it and that's fine. But actually we learned that, okay, they are easy, but you need to know a little bit more about them. So we actually had it in a shelf that didn't get, that didn't get so much sunlight. So it started growing these very long branches. I have it in another video. Now we have cut the branches and now that we know that we actually need to put it very close to the sunlight, we have it, we have it here. And it's growing really nice. Like all of this growth is actually from this year. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another one here, another ear coming out here. So it's nice to like, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process, you know? I think that you learn like as you go. And this cactus didn't die on us, so I'm very grateful for that. And now I think that she's happy. Okay, and over here, we have a sunflower. This sunflower is a little bit different than the ones that I've seen before. It doesn't have the, pet, the petals, but it grows like this. And actually we're having some new blooms here. So you can see one here. Actually, look, 
We have another one here and another one here. Okay, so now let's go to this counter over here. This is where we prepare our food sometimes, but of course it's also more space for plants. So um, yeah, actually I have some plants here that may like bright sunlight, but not direct sunlight because this may burn the leaves. So for example, we have here the Tiefenbachia. And this plant, actually it has been a little bit hard for me to understand, but I think I finally got it. So this plant needs bright sunlight, but not direct sunlight. So you want some filter sunlight. This space in our, in our house doesn't get so much direct sunlight. It's just filter sunlight or the light that comes to the room. And yeah, the leaves are beautiful, you guys. We have some uh, variegation here. And it's actually kind of like almost white in the center. And then you have the green, very bright and deep green on the edges of the plant. And then we have a new leaf here, actually. I can show you, so I'll put it over here so you can see. This one over here is rolled up. And then the way that it does is just unrolls it and then it becomes this leaf. We actually have some leaves unrolling over here as well. Right there. Then we have our mint here. This is good to have in the kitchen because we use it for tea or for cooking. And it's also, ah, it smells really nice. So when, for example, we're having a headache or something, sometimes I like to smell the leaves and it actually helps. And oh, this is so cool because we have different propagations here from the same ones there that I told you. So we have some roots here and we have also new leaves. So I'll show you over here. This leaf is growing from our propagation. I just love to see actually the roots that we get from the propagation, but also the leaves that we get. It's just beautiful because then you know that the plant is happy. And of course, our Anstorium. It's a very beautiful plant as well. Actually, I really love the, the, the shape of the leaves. It's actually like a heart. You can see it more in this one, for example. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's go to the bedroom. And while we go to the bedroom, I wanted to show you this one right here. This is just something personal that I wanted to show you guys. Actually has many pictures of where Jan and I have been with some friends and just like us in different places and different moments that we had. And it's nice to have it with this plant here because this was the first plant that we had in this house. So it's like kind of like taking care of those moments in our house. So it's really nice. And before we forget, actually, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is uh, the eucalyptus that we had before. These are some of the branches that we had from the, the other eucalyptus. And I actually dried them. So actually, you can still smell the eucalyptus in the branches. And it was really easy to dry it out. So then if something happens to your eucalyptus, which is our case, our, our eucalyptus actually, we lost it because it was too dry the air in our home, I think. Uh, but I was happy that at least I could save these branches. And now we have it in our dining room. So yeah, but now let's go to the bedroom. Okay, welcome to our bedroom. So let's go to this corner right here first. Uh, and here we have a, a plant that is very special for us because this is the first poinsettia that we could grow outside of the holidays. So we got her last Christmas. And now we've been trying to grow her and it's just so nice to see also the green leaves, you know, because we always see them with this uh, red bract. Then over here we have a kind of succulent. This was also a gift. So I'm not sure about the name, but again, if you know the name for this one, please let me know and we can make a video about it as well. And over here we have our Star Wars terrarium. So we did this for May the 4th and we have a video about it. But basically, here we have our cacti and it's an open terrarium, so they are happy there. And then over here we have our uh, peace lily. So this one doesn't have a flower. I think it is because it's not getting so much sunlight. Oh yeah, I should tell you that this bedroom right here actually gets, I think this is a, a northwest facing window. So it doesn't get so much sunlight. We get more sunlight in the afternoon and I'm gonna actually show you 
uh, later in the video how it looks in the afternoon. But I think that's why this peace lily doesn't get so much sunlight and then it doesn't flower. But we have another peace lily closer to the, to the window and then that one actually does flower. So I'm gonna show you now. So let's just move towards the bed. And <laughs> here we have many plants. Actually, when I saw this bed frame, I was like, okay, we have to have it because then it's great to have plants. And it's another way that you can display your plants at home. So this one actually is a gift from a very close friend of ours here in Berlin. It's Jana. And yeah, it's growing really, really fast. And I think this is a very easy plant. The only thing is that she actually needs lots of water. So I think I water her maybe more than once a week. Uh, but yeah, she is growing really quickly. Then over here we have our golden potos. <laughs> I love this plant. Again, this one also has kind of like a heart shaped leaf. So I can show you maybe, yeah, this one right here. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, that's the heart-shaped leaf and it also has a variegation, the golden potos. It's almost white or lime green, but it's really beautiful. Yeah, and it's it also grows really fast. This is the one that we're propagating in the other station, in the propagation station. And here is the queen of the bedroom because it has a new flower right there. And I think this one got the flower because it's closer to the window. So it gets more sunlight, so then it can produce flowers. So now I'm going to show you my desk here, my working space. But first, I want to show you this queen, you guys. This is the Strelitzia. And it's been growing so much this spring. We actually have a new leaf here, and it's actually unrolling. So we'll see how big it is, but I think it's going to be super big because every new leaf that comes out is bigger than the last one. So yeah, and we just repotted it, so I think it has a lot of space to keep growing. Then I want to show you some of the plants that I have actually underneath my desk. This is the Calasia. So again, this plant was getting a lot of brown edges here. And I think it was because of two reasons. The first one was that it was getting lots of sunlight. We actually had it in the living room. So it was getting lots of sunlight. And the second reason was that the air was very dry. So now we actually brought a humidifier here to the bedroom. And I think it's doing better. It's getting many new leaves now. So I'll show you. We have two leaves here. And I'm going to show you the other calasilla that we have. It's another calasilla medallion. So I have it here. And again, this one is doing really well. As you can see, it has a better, like a deeper kind of green. And it's the same, it's the same type of calasilla. And it has three more leaves coming out here. So I think they like to be in darker rooms. That's why I put them here. And they seem to be better. I'm going to show you another calasilla that we have here. This is a calasilla rufi barba. It's super soft, you guys. And also, the colors are amazing. As you can see, you have some brown, sorry, some purple here, not brown, purple. And then green on the other side. This is the Biophytum sensitivum. And it has a new flower. It's just flowering now. It's a pink flower, but you can have different colors for this plant. White, pink, I think yellow too. And then they produce some seeds. Actually, I made a video about this plant because it was also producing some seeds and I show you in the video. So if you want to check it out, it's really interesting. And then you can just grow it from the seed. And here we have the Maranta, of course. This one is also growing a lot this season. We have some new leaf here and also some other ones here. And what I love about this plant is just how beautiful the leaves are. We have some very deep green, like super dark green, then some lime color in the center. And then these veins here are like pink or red. So they're really beautiful. And on top of that, actually during the night and the day, the calasillas and the marantas actually close and open their leaves. That's why they're called prayer plants because they close their leaves at night, kind of like they're praying and then they open in the day. 
Okay, so now let's go to the other side of the room. Here we have our northwest facing window. So we don't get so much sunlight. We actually get the evening sunlight, which basically is very soft sunlight. And that's why we get many plants here that like less sunlight than, for example, the croton or other plants. And talking about that, we have here the set set plant. This one is a very big plant and it was a gift also from a very close friend of ours. And it's, it keeps growing actually. And I wanted to show you when our friend had it, it actually had a flower and it's right here. I know right now it looks kind of dry because it already, like, it already fell off the plant. But it was the first, th the first time that I actually saw a set set plant flower. <laughs> So there you go. Apparently they're very rare. So it's really cool that she actually showed this to us. And then of course we have here the Clusea rosea. So this plant needs more sunlight, but it's very adaptable. So I actually put it here because it gets the afternoon sunlight from the window and it's actually doing really well. Now I wanted to show you, and well tell you actually, because I cannot show you now. Well, maybe yeah, I can show you this plant started to have these dots here these brown small dots and i thought that these were actually like box or i even thought that it was maybe scale but then i started to look more into it and basically this plant sometimes has this reaction when it's not getting enough sunlight or enough humidity so then I brought a humidifier close to her for also for the calasillas in this room and I put her closer to the window to get more sunlight and actually now it's not getting so many dots actually these are new leaves and as you can see there are no dots here okay guys thank you so much for joining me in this plant tour the first plant tour that we have in the channel if you like this kind of videos please let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to make more videos like this one and as always i will see you in the next video okay ciao